Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. He's supremely confident here. Look at him make his way down to the ring. You can just see it in every step that he takes. Bone Crusher's poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fighter. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Keep it going! Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Across with a hook up top. You got this. Yeah. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Good, solid right hand lands. Okay, get he got the rocked. He oh, just got rock. rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Right hand serving him well. Oh, you need to block more. <laughs> hook to the head by bone crusher well that was his intention and that's what he's doing not engaging in the fight but clinching nice work the left hand to the head and now you can see him utilizing the jab you know a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around staying away you understand the use of a jab but when you're coming forward you have to come forward with a cover and that jab, that's the cover. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no, just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. So it's the end of the round. And as both men head back to their respective corners, Teddy, it uh, brings up a good point that's many times not talked enough, but 
the culture of a corner and how guys conduct themselves. What was always your philosophy in organizing and running a corner? Well, first of all, only one guy could be in charge. That's the trainer. You can't have uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. It has to be organized like anything else. And you have to have calm people. You only have one minute. Maybe by the time the fighter gets back, maybe it's 50 seconds. So you have to be efficient. You can't have guys that are excited. They have to be able to control their emotions just like the fighter does on the outside. And everyone has to know what they're... Wow, what a punch there by Bone Crusher. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Bone Crusher's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Good strong jab by Bone Crusher. Well placed hook. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Bone Crusher. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Bone Crusher is the victim of a powerful hook. Very accurate two punch combo by Bone Crusher. enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Bone Crusher's giving us something to think of. Oh, and a big right hand land. Oh, and there you go. A huge shot rains down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make right now. a sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite him. Oh yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the best indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's not coming after him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. Little head knocking with that right hand. He boxed. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Bone Crusher's quarterman did a really good job after a round in which their fighter... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Unload. Bone Unload. Crusher's right punch. hand working well that time. He scored punches. well. Hands up. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Bone Crusher's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Harry brings the jab right hand. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Not much action as he just ties up. Big shot. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. But he 
he's going to continue on, beating the count. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Bone Crusher. Uppercut. Not able to land the uppercut. Move. Nice, crisp one two combination by Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand score. Relax, relax. Watch that. Bone Crusher's defense penetrated by a well targeted uppercut. Little head hunting with the left. <gasps> Bone Crusher's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Big punch no doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a. Now start around number four. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. Bone Crusher's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. That is a strong uppercut there. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Bone Crusher. Focus. That's a fierce left hand that landed by... Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea. And yet another big shot comes in. And he beat the count. I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes.